All right, you don't need an LLC to make money this way. So what's up, y'all? So I'm enjoying making these YouTube videos, like just sharing games, sharing the stuff that I'm doing day to day. I really like explaining stuff. I really like really going in detail. Only problem with Instagram, like that 60 seconds, I can't really get to explain too much. Like my videographer always tell me like, yo, listen, you say too much. Like you gotta figure out how to chop it down. So I, I enjoy these YouTube videos. Um, if you guys make sure you check check this out and also like and subscribe this video, but check out my last video. I'll explain how we do six figures in our event space business. I really walk around the whole event space really going detail. So make sure you check that out um, on my channel. But this video, I want to explain this is a property. This is an apartment. So it's a duplex. That means apartment downstairs and an apartment upstairs. And in this video, I want to explain how you can make money doing construction without having an LLC, without having to know too much about construction, without having to tear a whole house down and rebuild it back up. Because when I talk to individuals, the main questions I have is like, yo, how can I get into real estate, but I don't know construction too well? How can I get in real estate? I don't have a whole bunch of money. Yo, how can I get in real estate? I don't have an LLC, which full disclosure, like it's two, three hundred dollars. You get the LLC. But nonetheless, how can I do all this stuff without having a lot? What I'm about to explain today is a way that you guys can make money without knowing a lot, without having a lot, without doing a lot. So when it's called becoming a general contractor, but not even becoming a general contract on a bigger scale, I'm on my general contract on a smaller scale, which I wouldn't even consider this being a general contract. This is you just connecting the dots. So for example, as a general contractor, I manage projects and I get paid for me to facilitate, supervise, manage, and pretty much handle the entire project, I get a fee. So let's say, for example, a project costs, let's just say $100,000, I might get paid $20,000, $15,000, $30,000, that number can range for pretty much managing, handling, facility, making sure that project gets from start all the way to finish where somebody can buy it or a tenant can rent it. That's on a bigger scale of things. But I only do that for my house because one of the things is I don't want to feel like I'm working for somebody. So I don't go ahead and do these three, four, five, six month projects for other people. When I'm putting all this work and effort building someone else's house, I can just be building my own house. Now, but what I do do is I go ahead, which I'm about to tour this and show you guys, I go ahead and do small jobs for individuals where I can pretty much middleman and make little, make a couple dollars here and there in between, you know, week worth of work, two weeks worth of work, a day worth of work, things like that. So for example, when I'm GC in a project, you might have plumbing, you might have electric, you might have HVAC, you might have to put a new roof, you might have to put all these things that if something goes bad, that homeowner's calling you back like, yo, this shit just happened, what's going on? You need insurance, you need warranties, you need a whole bunch of different things. What I do is take it on a smaller scale and I'll say, hey, look, listen, I'm doing floors a day. Me and my guys are doing floors. Me and my guys are installing cabinets. So for example, my guys charge a dollar a square foot to lay floors. So we, we measure out the square footage. So let's say it's a 700 square foot apartment, right? My guy charges a dollar per square to lay down floor. This is for labor, this isn't including the material. So that means for the lay down floors for a dollar square foot for a 700 square foot place, it's gonna be about a $700. So now what you could tell, which is, a, which is a great price, that's like an investor price. What I'll go ahead and do is I'll talk to a homeowner, let's say people that just hit me up like, hey, do you ever do work? Do you do work? I need work. They just see me in real estate doing things. But I go and tell them, hey, look, listen, I'm doing floors for $3 a square foot, $4 a square foot, maybe even $5 a square foot. I usually don't never go that high, but maybe $3 or $4 a square foot. So now if it's 700 square feet, you multiply that by 3, 7, 14, 21. So now that homeowner is going to pay me $2,100 to go ahead and lay down floors. But I already said I have a contractor that lays down floors for a dollar a square foot. So they're going to charge $700. The homeowner's gonna pay me $2,100, and now I made that difference of $1,400 in between. I didn't even go to the house, I just sent my guy in there, he knows what's going on, like, hey, look, listen, you're gonna get what you agreed upon, they're paying this, and then when everything is done, they're gonna pay me and I'm gonna pay you, simple. The contractor is cool with it because they're getting the number that they're supposed to get. They, they agreed upon. Everything is cool. And also, too, you want to make sure that you're dealing with contractors. Like, and you can tell them or not to tell them. Some people I don't tell. Some kind of I don't tell. Some tell them, yo, listen, this is how it's going to go. They just want to make sure they get paid what they want to get paid. Make sure you're dealing with contractors that's not trying to backdoor you and different things like that, which that's a whole nother conversation. But these are some of the things I can do. And now the thing I love about it, it doesn't require a whole, I need licenses, I need insurance, I need warranty, because one, the, the contractor has all that, and the contractor is the one really managing everything. But also, two, is we're putting down floors. It's not the floor is gonna start 
start an electrical fire. It's not the floor is going to start having a leak. It's not the floor is, we're not doing anything that's really the heart and bones of the house. When you start doing things that the heart and bones of the house, like the HVAC, the electric, the roof, that type of stuff, get leaks, electrical problems, the breaker not working. Those are things I try to stay away of because it may come back. We got to manage a little more. It takes more days. It's just overall a whole process of me being a little bit more involved. I got my own house, I got my own business, I got my own stuff to do. This is just money we can make an extra, you know, thousand, two thousand dollars a week or an extra couple thousand dollars a month by doing this. So let me show you guys this project. And the main thing you want to do is when you're talking to homeowners that may need work, deal with homeowners that don't, like I said, they don't need a full gut job. If you guys can see in this project, what we did, we put down new floors, right? And you see these are the floors that we got. And also remember, the homeowner pays for all the material. You don't pay for none of the material. The homeowner pays for all of the material. That's how that goes. That's how you make it simpler. Hey, look, listen, we're gonna put down the floors. We're gonna put down the cabinets. You order the cabinets, you order the floors. I can give you my contacts that I have. I can go ahead and give you, you know, maybe even my discount code. Like, hey, you go to Home Depot, you buy your own paint. Here's a code that you can get 10% off. You could do as much as that, but you're not running around doing it. That defeats the purpose. Now you're, you're pretty much working for somebody. For example, we did the floors in here. We repainted the walls. The walls, we didn't rip out any walls. We didn't do any of that stuff, right? We repainted the walls. This is how the kitchen was already laid out. We didn't change any layouts. This is just how the homeowner wanted. We went and put new countertops, new cabinets. And the thing about it, the homeowner ordered the cabinets and ordered the countertops. So they went through this, um, this company that I referred and what the company does, they come in, uh, measure everything, deliver the cabinets, and then they go ahead and install the countertop once the cabinets are in. So all my guy had to do was install the cabinets, connect it to the wall, hang it up on the wall, call the homeowner, hey, the cabinets are done. Homeowner goes and calls the company, say, hey, the cabinets are in, can you come install the countertop? They come and do the countertop. Once the countertop is in, my guys come back and they install the, the backsplash. It's literally putting an adhesive on the tile and putting the tile on the wall. No electric is needed, no plumbing is needed, no extra wire, we're not no HVAC, none of that stuff is actually needed. So to go ahead and do those things. So if you realize we're just putting in the cabinets, company's coming back in and put the countertop. When the countertop is in, we go ahead and put the backsplash in. Simple. This is literally, it takes one day to put cabinets in, it takes one day to I'll go ahead and put backsplash on. So it's an in and out job. One thing you guys gotta remember, making big money, time is money. So making big money is irrelevant if it takes you a long time to get to it. Let's say for example, I can go ahead and do some of these small jobs and make a thousand dollars net profit a week doing this. This is $4,000 a month. Or you guys can do a big job with a lot of stress, a lot of headache, a lot of extras, change orders, a lot of back and forth and make $12,000 profit, but it took you six months to do it. Who really won at the end of the day? I'm making $1,000 per week doing small floor jobs and things like that. So I'm making $4,000 a month every single month in six months. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. So in six months, I made $36,000. Where in six months, you made $12,000 because you took on this big job that just take a look. So you gotta think about it. Like, I know it looks cool to tear down houses and rebuild them back up, but one thing you have to remember is what is the net? Like, what does it look like once everything is said and done? Because you spend all this time doing this project, you like, damn, like, I should have just took the smaller ones instead of chasing after the big stuff. So back to this, like these radiators are already in, the windows are already in. They didn't want to change anything. They just wanted a facelift, it's called a lipstick, a cosmetic rehab. So we popped in the cabinets. They ordered the cabinets. The company dropped them off. Company put the countertops in. We installed the cabinets. Company came and dropped off the appliances. They ordered new appliances. That company ordered from came and dropped everything off. So we didn't have to worry about that. And this layout is not bad. It's not bad for this apartment. I'm not too crazy, crazy about it, but this is how it was. So we just had to go. They just asked us to do that. I'm going to show you guys it again. And then one thing we do is right here, and this is a little hack for you guys. If the walls aren't bad and the, um, the baseboards, so these things are called baseboards. And then this little bottom strip is called quarter round. So if the walls and the baseboards are not that bad, you can just paint sand where you need the sand to make it smooth and then keep the same baseboards. But when you put in there new floors, you had to take off the old quarter round. So what we do is we take off the old quarter round so we can put down new floors and then you put the new quarter round on top, which is cheap. The quarter round doesn't cost a lot of money. So the floors and the quarter round is new, but the baseboards and the walls are the same. 
and you see how smooth everything looks, everything looks good. So one thing you can do, you can just put a little spackle and sand the walls so that way it looks smooth without having to rip the whole house out. This is only good when the electric behind the walls and the plumbing behind the walls and the HVAC or the radios, whatever it is behind the walls is in good shape. Don't go ahead and put up new walls or, or take care of the walls or do anything with the walls if everything behind the walls is bullshit because you're just putting a wall in front of problems. Just everything behind the walls is bad at trash. Hey, look, we can't take the job, you know, because you have to have somebody address all these plumbing, electrical, you know, all these issues because that's where the real problem is. The wall is just covering the stuff. So in this house, all the plumbing and electric and everything was already good. So it was safe for us to just come in, you know, sand the walls down and repaint, call it a day. And this is the other thing you guys can see, these are the original doors. All we did was paint and we put down new floors. And then all, all we got to do is my guy, when he, he's going to come back uh, today. He actually was here a little bit earlier. Um, he, missed, he missed something. He got to run to Home Depot. But now we're just going to pop in the ceiling fans. Pop in the ceiling fans. A little rod in the closet. Another ceiling fan, a little rod in the closet. Simple stuff. Simple. Make life simple for yourself. A lot of people messed up in COVID because they had actual money from PVP, PUA, different things, and they took that lump sum of money and put it into complex shit, and they lost everything. This is the season to you go ahead and master in the simple stuff and stacking up on some cash before you jump into a bigger, bigger investment. Remember that. So we just got the ceiling fans in, popping a little closet rod, and then we're going to change these cover plates. You can literally get a freaking teenager to come and unscrew this pop a new one and screw another like simple stuff the most complex thing we did was this bathroom we redid this bathroom now this is where it gets a little bit different there, right so i advise be careful if taking on full-blown bathrooms stick with like i said just to repaint the floors the quarter rounds and installing cabinets stick to that the bathroom isn't complex but it's just another level up so in this bathroom like i said the walls and everything were good already so the homeowner ordered the towel. They dropped out the towel. All my guys did was they ripped, they charged the homeowner, a, you know, a flat rate just to rip everything out, like the old tub. They ripped the old tub out, took the old toilet out, and took the old vanity out, but kept the walls the same. So the thing about when you tiling the walls from floor to ceiling, you don't have to worry about smoothing the walls out behind. You don't have to worry about the paint behind. You don't have to worry about the imperfections behind because the tile is going to smack dab on top of all the imperfections, so it doesn't matter anymore. So now all the new contractor do is pop in a new toilet, just reconnect the line, pop in a new toilet, reconnect the line, pop in a vanity, connect the line. Nothing too complex where they got to go under and change all the plumbing and everything. Pop in the new stuff, put up new tile right on top of the walls, tile everything, charge one flat rate for that, and then this, you order off this Amazon, this is a shower panel, and then they just hook this connectors on. So long story short, the contractor isn't redoing any plumbing, redoing any electric, or redoing structure to bathroom. Just putting everything back in the same spot, just with new stuff. Toilet was already here, take the old toilet out, put a new toilet in. Vanny was already here, just pop the old vanny out, put the new vanny in, and just connect the lines. Toilet with tub was already here, just took the old tub out, it was a little old, and just pop a newer tub in, connect the line, connect the trap, connect everything. Simple, and just tile up the walls. But this is ways you don't have to worry about, like I said, this is a little next level versus just the floor play, but this is something that doesn't require a whole lot of extra stuff. So these are some of the things you can do. You guys can see this is simple. Apartment turnover, doesn't take a long time to do. Simple, in and out. Guys gonna come in, clean up all this stuff, take the trash out back, smooth. The homeowner calls their own cleaners in, they get the property clean. You can take that on if you want, but remember, taking on more stuff means that you're taking on more responsibility. Taking on more, more responsibility is the leading cause of stress. Only time people really stress is when they took on some responsibility they didn't want to take on. People stress over kids, responsibilities. People stress over jobs, responsibility. People stress over, you know, doing different things because it's a responsibility. So be mindful of all the responsibility you take on on a project because that can lead on to the extra stress. So again, I wanted to show you guys this. On this project, we made four or five, like some funny number, like $4,300. I don't come here. I don't pop in at all. I don't really do anything. The guy comes in, they already know what to do because they're the contractor. I just connected the dots and I make money just making sure the guy's here doing what he's gonna do. 
And also you got to remember, having or knowing good contractors is a resource. It's a re there are so many contractors that are bad. There are so con many contractors that rip people off. There are so many contractors that just don't do what they need to do. So you knowing a good contractor is a freaking resource. So you're getting paid for connecting the resource and the resource does the work and you're getting paid a middleman fee or just a connect the dots fee, um, upcharge fee, a wholesale fee, however you want to word it, you're getting paid a fee for bringing in a great resource, you know, for, you know, for the, so the homeowner so they can get everything done. So this is some of the things that I do. I don't take on big, big jobs because I'm too busy doing my own big jobs. But hey, look, if you need some floors done, you need your cabinets popped in, you need to do you know, X, Y, and Z. Hey, look, listen, I send a guy over there, he can go ahead and do X, Y, and Z, and then this is, the, this is how much the price is gonna be. Let's say, for example, contractor charge $500 to hang cabinets, you can charge $1,000. It's only $500, but imagine you do two of those a week. That's $1,000 a week. The average, average American says an extra $1,000 a month will literally change their entire life. That's an extra $1,000 that could be a week. So think about it. Some of you guys may quit your job just off a of middleman doing floor job, doing cabinet job. Simple in and out. So I know the next question you guys have is, where the hell do I even get the contractors from? This is a little hack that I go ahead and do. In the mornings, Monday mornings, Tuesday mornings, top of the week, 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning, I go over in neighborhoods where a lot of construction is happening. So in Philadelphia, we got a neighborhood called Brewery Town. Brewery Town, people are always developing, always fixing up houses, always building houses. You know, that area is just a lot of construction is going on. Everybody has an area in their city where a lot of construction is happening, or they say gentrification is happening. Things are getting built over there. Drive around those areas 8, 9 o'clock in the morning when the good contractors are out because the contractors that are lazy, they come in at 11, they come in at 12. The good contractors, they starting early and they getting done on time. They come in there at 7 in the morning, 8 in the morning, 9 in the morning, they on point. So you pull up to those job sites, just ride around, and you want to see their vans or their trucks outside with their information right on the side. You see them carrying sheetrock in and out the house. You see them carrying material in and out of the house. They might be painting the outside of the house. They may be up there on the roof. They may be, like those are the contractors that you can see they're actually working. They're not bullshitting around. Get their phone number, pull over and talk to them. Hey, look, listen, I have a property I'm working on. You know, I would love I can get your phone number. Do you only do roofs? I see you on the roof. Do you do other jobs? Hey, what else you have going on? Hey, I know this isn't my house, but do you mind, you know, I just peek and see what you got going on. I'm telling you for a fact, a lot of these contractors are working with individuals that don't have as much work as, like me, I'm always working on something. So my contractors may not jump when somebody pulls over on them. For other investors or homeowners, they don't have any other houses to get fixed up after the one they're working on. So contractors thinking like this, let me show them my work because somebody, I might not have another gig after this. I might not have another job after this. A lot of contractors are job by job. So I've done this plenty of times and know this works. I talked to a contractor, I was like, yo, who you mind about, they in there, are we putting down floors? Hey, you mind if I just peek my head in to see how the floors look? Cause I definitely want you to check out one of my houses. For sure, come in, come in. Look, this is, we did this X, Y, and Z because they know when they're done their floor job, that homeowner, that homeowner or that investor doesn't have another house for them. A lot of um, contractors don't even have another job because they are on the job. They don't have they don't have a marketing team. They don't have a whole big or organization. So they don't have a lot of jobs lined up after that. So that's one of the things that work out for me. I got a lot of great contractors just from pulling up from people, getting their phone number, having them come check out my houses and different things like that. So that's one where you can find contractors to do the plays that we're talking about on here. So this is just a little video, give you guys some hacks, money plays that you can do that don't require credit, don't require LLC, don't require a whole bunch of money, don't require a whole bunch of experience. You're literally just capitalizing off of the person that has experience and you're just bringing the, the, the money, you're bringing the leads, you're bringing the, um, the work, and then you're making money in between when the work is getting done. When I just came in, first time I've been here since, since everything started, just to check on, see, see how the floor is, see how everything turned out. The contractor's gonna go ahead and you know finish the payment. The homeowner already gave me the money. They just left before we shot this video. They gave me the money, so when my contractor comes back, I'm gonna I'm pay him his piece, I keep the rest, I go on by my day. Oh, real quick, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And also, if you guys want more information outside of, you know, I don't know how long this video is, but if you guys want some more information outside of this, right, just click the link in the bio. I have a full-blown academy. It's called the Funded and Closed Academy, 
where we literally show you guys how to wholesale, how to find properties, how to fix up properties, how to sell properties, how to rent properties, how to do VRB, how to do event space, how to get funding, how to get things off your credit in 24 hours. All different types of stuff. I'm talking about the list goes on with things that you guys can get access to. And the best part about it is the community is only $47 a month. You can cancel at any given time. I'm not even worried about it because we put so much information, so much value in it. I'm not even worried about that. And we have daily coaching calls, not monthly. There's something going on every single day from a credit repair call to a funding call to a real estate call. Every single call. We even have workout calls going on where you can get on the call with a trainer. So it's so much great value for only $47 a month. Click the link in the bio. You'll be able to go ahead and register. And hopefully I'll see you guys inside. But if not, hopefully you guys got a lot of value from this video just in general. So again, like and subscribe, click the link in the description so I can see you guys inside. Let's get it.